Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the abstract classes and methods in Java. So before we get into the details of abstract classes and methods, let's first understand about the abstraction. So abstraction is the process of hiding the implementation details with end user. So let me take an example of Selenium WebDriver briefly. So in Selenium WebDriver, if you are a little bit aware of the methods that are available, um, there are methods to interact with the web elements on the, any web page. So for example, click or um, you, you can drag and drop. So these methods that are available are sort of common. It doesn't matter which browser you are trying to automate. Once you write your script and use these method, it will be working on across all the browsers. So now when we talk about the abstraction, so these methods are being or you are not uh, as an end user, you are not aware of the actual implementation that has happened behind these methods for each of the browsers. So this is the process of abstraction. Now you can ab achieve abstraction by abstract classes. In Java or interfaces. So we'll learn about abstract classes first and then in next tutorial I'll cover interfaces. So let me open Eclipse. I've already created abstraction project and let me create a new class and I'll take a very common example of shape. So usually whenever you are trying to draw any shape right so you can have a parent class which has or which basically defines so initially when i'm defining or when i want to draw any shape so i don't know what i'll be drawing whether i'll be drawing you know or uh, the, uh, the end user will be drawing a circle or rectangle or square so the implementation of all these different shapes is different but at the high level at the root level which is the shapes class i can let me copy here. I can basically define the methods which are or which will be common across all the different shapes. So that's what I'll do in my root class. So I'll say uh, here I'll provide com.rcv.package name. So I'll simply say, okay. Now in this shapes class, what I'll do is say, for example, I have the method public void draw shape okay and let me have the implementation first so i'll say shape okay and then i have color shape so i'll say here i'll say color and then let me have another one another method which says move shape and now when we say draw shape color shape move shape this is very generic this is say now i want to draw a circle so i can't use this particular you know method to draw a circle because it's very it's it will draw a generic shape or i don't know how the circle will be implemented so if for example in this particular method I write implementation to draw a circle okay and if a person is using draw shape now he'll always get a drawing circle now if tomorrow he wants to create the rectangle then will you just come in this parent class and update this to draw a rectangle then in that case he won't be able to draw a circle so that's where this concept abstraction or abstract classes comes in picture that whatever generic or common information that you are aware up front you define that as methods and those methods will be the abstract method so when we say how to define an abstract method you simply need to use the keyword abstract for the method and as soon as you will see uh, i added the abstract keyword if I click on draw shape or hover over, you'll see that I have to remove method body. So abstract method can't have the method body. So I've removed that. As soon as I hover over again the error draw shape, I have to make 
the type shapes or the parent class as abstract as well so if there is any one abstract method in a class that class needs to be changed to be a uh, to abstract class okay so if you click on that you will see that abstract keyword has been added against the class so class can have the abstract method which is this one and non abstract method which are the concrete which are also known as concrete methods so when we say concrete method a method which has the implementation so which has basically some implementation done in this case drawing shape is uh, the statement that has been printed out so abstract method won't have any body at all and they will have the keyword abstract okay so now with this draw shape color shape now if I have a circle class or that is the child class of shape right there is a is a relationship inheritance so now let me remove this and include or make all these abstract so now all the methods in my parent class shapes are the abstract methods so now if I want to draw a circle so I'll create a class circle and let me include the main method right so now if now because circle is a shape so I can inherit the properties that are being defined into the shapes class so I can use the keyword extends shapes all right and as soon as I'll say extend shape, I have to make this either this circle class as abstract as well. Or if I don't make this, I have to implement the unimplemented method from the parent class. So I have to actually provide the implementation here in the circle class. So now because I know the, uh, the way the circle will be drawn, so I can provide the implementation here, right? So I can simply say drawing circle okay and similarly let me copy this to other and I'll say coloring circle and moving circle so I'll say here say moving circle and here I'll say coloring circle okay so now I have implemented so you'll see this keyword override uh, or uh, the annotation override so this annotation shows you that this is the overridden method from the parent class okay and the implementation is within the child class now if I want to now draw a circle in this case now I can create an object of the circle class so I'll say circle C is equal to new circle and then I can call the methods. I can say draw shape, c dot color shape, and c dot move shape. Right. And if I run this program now, then I'll say drawing circle, coloring uh, circle, and moving circle got printed. So this is the specific implementation now for the circle subclass or a very specific type of shape. Now, if tomorrow somebody wants to draw a rectangle, so there can be a rectangle class and in the rectangle class, this rectangle class will again inherit the properties of the parent class. So I'll say shapes and then implement the methods. So if you just hover over, let me save it and hover over, add unimplemented method and this will implement all the unimplemented method for the parent class so here i'll simply add the statement drawing rectangle so this is the specific implementation for the rectangle shape right so now i have the flexibility whenever i'm calling draw shape i can specify which type of shape i want to draw right so i can if i want to draw a rectangle or, or i want to draw a circle so that's what the abstract classes and methods are helpful in so if you don't know upfront what is the concrete implementation that needs to happen for the particular uh, operation or particular you know child class 
behavior, then you define the methods or the behavior as the abstract classes because you don't know how each of these subclasses are going to implement and the child classes will actually implement these methods and have the specific logic to actually make that implementation happen which is very specific to that particular class and the other example i i would like to take is again the selenium web driver now selenium web driver you have the methods uh, click or there are so many method find element with different you know uh, techniques so when you have this click method so click method is basically it's not a con if you if they define click method as concrete method up front then what would they decide or what would be the basis of defining that click method whether they'll build it or build the logic based on the chrome web driver chrome driver or firefox driver or internet explorer so there are so many browsers right and if they tie that specific implementation in the root class for any one specific browser then that will work only for that specific browser in if tomorrow you have to execute the same script on a different browser then it's not going to work so that's why what it has been done is that click method has been defined as an abstract method and then all these implementing classes like chrome driver firefox driver internet explorer driver they have actually implemented the logic behind how the click is going to happen on that particular browser right so that's the whole concept of abstract classes so let me go back and see the important points that we have covered all of these so we have covered that abstract class and methods should have uh, should be declared by the keyword abstract which we have seen abstract class can have both abstract methods and concrete method so with that we have seen as well so abstract classes can have abstract uh, method and then I can also have a concrete method. So for example, for moving shape, I know how exactly the implementation is going to be for all the shapes. Then I can have that implementation in the abstract class for this particular method, right? So here I can have this implementation. So it this abstract class can have concrete class, uh, concrete method, which is this method, and the abstract method so it can have combination of both uh, then abstract classes cannot be instantiated so that's another important thing which we'll cover so now say for example here in the circle class I want to call these methods that draw shape color shape move shape so I can't instantiate the shapes so let me remove the inheritance in this case and here let me remove all these implementation now say for example if i want to usually if you want to call the methods or use the methods that are defined into other class you simply have to create the object of that particular class so i would just simply say shapes s is equal to new shapes and then i can simply say draw shape something like that right now you will see there is an error here so if you hover over it you can see that cannot instantiate the type shapes because the shapes is the abstract class and if you think logically that there is no definition of these methods so even if you instantiate or you create an object of this class it doesn't make any sense you won't be able to use any of the abstract methods so java has blocked to not instantiate any of the abstract classes the next important thing is that abstract methods must be overridden by first concrete class which inherits the abstract class so now in this case child was or circle was the first subclass so if i say extends shapes extends shapes now when we say extend shape then this circle became the subclass of shapes it is inheriting all the properties so it has to implement the unimplemented methods so the first class has to implement the unimplemented method of the parent class that's what this particular point is 
if they don't want to implement then it has this particular class needs to be made as abstract as well say if i do like this i have made the circle abstract as well then in that case the error will be gone now if i say another i create another class and i'll say circle child another child for the circle okay and this circle child inherits the properties of circle class right now you will see that again i am getting the error add unimplemented method if i am unimplement then draw shape and color shape will be required to be implemented in this child circle so the hierarchy is shapes is the root or the the first parent or the parent class the circle is the subclass the child of shapes and then circle child is again the the child of the circle right so the first child whosoever is it is so abstract method must be overridden by the first concrete class which inherits abstract class so here because this circle child is not an abstract class right this is the concrete class if it is an abstract class it would have this abstract keyword then if it has the abstract keyword it doesn't need to you can have that hierarchy keep going on but if this is a concrete class you don't have this keyword then this particular class has to implement the unimplemented methods from the parent class so you'll see that these draw shape and color shape needs to be implemented in the in this particular circle child class right so abstract method must be overridden by first concrete class which inherits abstract class these are some of the important points about the abstract classes and methods and how you can achieve abstraction so in this tutorial we have seen about the abstract classes and you can achieve um, um, by abstraction by ab abstract classes and some of the key examples why abstraction is important so that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll learn about interfaces in Java.